Welcome to lesson number one of Easy Worship 2009, brought to you by WorshipMediaPro.com. In this first lesson, we're going to essentially get Easy Worship 2009 prepared for the training series. And to do that, we're going to load in some backgrounds. And these backgrounds are going to consist of motion backgrounds, even some countdown timers, and some still backgrounds as well. And we'll talk in brief about the other media types, such as feeds, DVD, and audio, but be assured that this is going to be covered in more detail in the other training series. But let's just get started by loading in some media. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load in video backgrounds. And as you can see, the video tab is selected. And I've already loaded in the ones that I want to use, but we can go through the step again. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the media. And I'm going to go back in and add it by clicking on this Add button. And let's go to Motion Backgrounds. And I only have one here, so I'm going to select this one video. So this is going to be my Motion Background loop. And we can test it by playing the loop here. And you notice it's going to stop if I just let this go. So we want to enable loop by clicking this button here to loop it. And we can ensure that this is indeed a motion background that's going to loop for us. And it looks like it's looping real seamlessly there, so that's a good motion background. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a countdown timer. And we're going to go into countdown timers in this series as well. But let's just load in one so we can at least have that media ready for us to talk about in the other training series. Now, we're not going to loop our countdown because it's going to count from five minutes down to zero. And uh, there's a lot of different countdowns to choose from. Uh, you can you know, just have one that doesn't ha say anything. It just has a, a big countdown there. And these are great for uh, announcements as well. So while this countdown is rolling, you can have announcements overlay. And we're going to talk about how to use your schedule to create announcements as well. And the announcements can be used in between worship songs. Uh, in between worship and the sermon series, or even just uh, before worship starts. So we're done with our video backgrounds. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to images. Now I've already loaded in a bunch of images here. I've loaded in 15 images as well as my logo. So we're going to we're going to uh, talk a little bit more about the logo in this training video because uh, that's something we want to set up right away too, and it's real simple to do. So let's just load in a couple more backgrounds. So I'm just going to select, I've already went up to 15, so I'm just going to select 16 to 19. And how I do that is I click on 16, I hold down the shift key, and then I select to 20. So we're going to do 16 to 20, and then I say open. And now it's pulling that data in. Now it takes a second for it to create its thumbnail, and it looks like it successfully created the thumbnails. So we're good there. All right, now we've confirmed that our images are, are imported as well, and I can delete them just as I did with the video backgrounds. And now feeds, we're going to talk about later on. These are uh, live feeds, and uh, we're going to get more details. So we're not going to spend time here. Camera feeds, you know, uh, such as uh, cameras on your worship band or, or on your pastor. And then DVDs are great for many movies, and again, we're going to talk in more detail about that, but it's real easy, as you can tell here from this view, uh, and pretty self-explanatory how you operate the, the playing from DVDs. You can name clips, create thumbnails, and all that kind of good stuff to help you navigate your DVD that you have in the drive. And then audio, this is nice as well, and audio is great for playing maybe songs or um, maybe some messages that are pre-recorded messages and uh, you can have that uh, play maybe over the countdown timer while announcements are going or something like that. So you can get some ideas here of how to use audio and I'm sure you have some ideas as well. And you can uh, please do use the comment fields below to add other ideas and things that you would use audio for and feeds for and things like that just to help out our community and, and help out other worship leaders and teams um, to give them ideas of how to use audio. Okay, so uh, again, real quick in this series, I'm just, uh, in this video, all I'm doing is I'm loading in my images, both still backgrounds and video backgrounds. And now we're going to talk about the logo. And you notice I'm on the media tab here, and we're going to talk about these other tabs in another, another video. But right now on the media tab, I don't have access to this button, and I need to have access to this button to load my logo. So I'm going to click on songs 
and these are our um, pre-assembled uh, database of hymnals. So we're going to go to now backgrounds because that's made available to us. And I'm going to scroll down here, and as you can see, the uh, logo that I had set is set for logo, and I can tell by this this L here. And there's one other um, thing I want to set inside of backgrounds is my foldback. And my my foldback background is something we're gonna we're gonna talk about foldback. It's a stage display, but we want to set that to black. We don't want to use anything but black because um, you don't want it to be noisy for your pastor or your worship team or anybody on stage. They want to know either the time timer that you might have up there or the next slide that's going to be presented or even the lyrics as well. So there you go. We got that all taken care of, and let's see here. So we have our logo display, and let me show you how that works. I'm going to go into live mode, and in live mode, there's not going to be anything playing because I don't have a song selected in the live category, and we'll talk about these different preview and live panes later on, but let's just look at our logo and do a preview of what our logo looks like. So there you go. When I click on logo, it'll show up. Uh, on my screen on my projector and I recommend you using a logo because it lets them know that something is going to take place and um, it's it, you know it's multimedia is still going on the, the projectors are not turned off so I think that's good to have a, a logo presented and not just do a black screen because you might catch your your audience off guard if uh, you transition to more multimedia when they think that that's over so the logo is a nice thing to throw up there and also the logo could just be sitting there during the entire sermon series too and I think that's a that's a great idea um, because it's just a nice nice backdrop in case you're, you don't have live feed on your pastor or any kind of presentation that um, that they might have up there so there you go that's logo let me turn off live feed here and we're going to talk more about these uh, these features and uh, let's see yeah, I think that's it. I think we've uh, we've accomplished what we wanted to accomplish for this quick video, loading in our backgrounds and loading in our stills and setting our logo. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is building a schedule and we're going to use our, our existing database to do that. And we're going to build our schedule, load backgrounds, countdowns, uh, transitions, all that kind of good stuff. So hopefully this video was informative. God bless.